there's this whole phenomenon of retail trading that is all invested in some of the, the most risky stocks, including a company called AMC. Now, this is fascinating. We should put up a one-year chart of AMC. Last year this time, AMC was trading intraday, I think it hit an intraday high of around $77. Yeah, I've got it. Right? Okay, now look at it now. Okay, we are talking about, that's an int intraday. We should get, we, we should, we should get a one-year chart. Is that a one-year chart? I can't tell. No, it's your We should get a one-year chart of, 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 because this tells the story. There you go. And it is, uh, it is really remarkable that this thing traded as high as 70, nearly 77. And people, even some journalists, when it was at 77, we're talking about this thing going to a thousand. Oh my God! I didn't remember when it was. I remember thousand? people talking about, well, it'll be great to see it go to a thousand for short squeezes, and it was really a remarkable stock pump that I've never seen. And it turned out to be maybe the worst trade of the year has been the long stock pump thesis mm -hmm. of AMC going to be between a hundred and a thousand. Maybe the worst of the year, maybe of all time. All time. Okay. And it's something that the average investor has to worry about. Um, you know, there's a lot of promoters out there. People talk about short sellers all the time, Jackie. How evil and bad they are. Yeah, they're horrible humans. Okay, yeah. But let's remember, the real problem in the market has not been short selling. The real problem in the market has been people pumping stocks, oh, yeah. whether it's penny stocks or any of this other garbage, including these meme stocks, which if you had half a brain when it traded at 77, you just saw that AMC was still losing money, and even though we had... We had all these uh, vaccines. Yeah, it might be a little time to take some off the table. I don't right. worry about whether it goes to a thousand. But you're even. All right, people. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know about you, but um, what is the deal with these journalists and all these other people? You know, he's not the only one that are continuously and continuously bashing AMC every single day. I mean, every single day, like literally every single day. I, what is the deal? You've been talking about AMC consistently and nothing you said about it, it's something positive, even when news are positive. You know, now it's about, you know, four plus million people, maybe five, maybe more million people <laughs> buying AMC and AMC being the worst trade. So basically we are all wrong, all right? Yeah, I can give you that if you know we are only retail investors buying AMC. But what about all the institutions? You know, what about all the smart money? What about all these big pension funds, all these big investment banks, all these big, you know, private banks, all these big hedge funds that are still buying and holding AMC and haven't sold? Are they also dumb in terms of trading? the worst stock lately that you've ever seen. And have you seen how he's actually talking about, you know, um, <laughs> the problem in the market being short sellers? I mean, nothing wrong with short selling a stock because short selling, as I always say, there are always two faces of every coin, all right? So in the market, we have two sides, the buyers and the sellers. Short sellers usually are here to balance the market and expose the fake companies and the wrong companies. That is ultimately the goal of a short seller. But when short seller or short selling is being used to the extent of targeting, manipulating, and yeah, bringing and pushing companies to bankruptcy, there is nothing good about it, all right? Now, he mentioned that pumping stock. Well, when the short sellers are destroying a stock, there's nothing wrong about it, right? But now that the short sellers are being caught, the short sellers are being caught on the wrong side of the trade, now it's about pumping the stock. Well, what happened to the short sellers being wrong to begin with? And what's the deal going back to the whole thing? Every single day, if AMC was really, you know, something that was not wor worth, putting your money in, if AMC was such a bad trade, a worse trade, or AMC was just trash, why will you consistently, consistently, and consistently <laughs> try to convince people of something that is obvious to you, if you see what I mean? Because when something is, you know, it's not that, it, it's not that obvious of if there is 
nothing really concrete happening, you say what you have to say and you move on. But every single day, every single week, every single month, there is always something to say and it's negative. It looks like there is a pattern here. Looks like there is a pattern and the pattern might be to, I don't know, everybody in here will know exactly what, I'm, what, what I mean. But uh, yeah, to me, <laughs> it's just ridiculous to hear such comments on, on AMC because when you look at what the performance of Tesla, what the performance of Apple, what the performance of Bitcoin was still, I mean, from I mean, in 2020 and 2021, I mean, there is no pumping about it, right? Because it wasn't a retail investor stock. When Zoom went from 20 bucks to $400, there was nothing wrong about it. When Tesla went from, you know, 90, uh, 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 90 uh, bucks to 1500, there was nothing wrong about it. But when AMC went from 2 to 77, the Wall Street ever. Yeah, come on, man, come on.